Gibbs said that music can only be one thing. We're playing Doctor Who Adventure Game, and this is the fifth one. It is actually called the Gunpowder Plot. So let's start this up before I get nailed for the copyright infringement on that song. <laughs> uh, yes, this is the fifth fifth game in the series. This just came out on Halloween 2011. If you haven't seen my other videos of the previous four episodes, I suggest you have a look in the description. You'll find the link for the entire series. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. Uh, you can get this game for free if you live in the UK. Or you can purchase it online and I'll leave a link for how you go about doing that. So these are generally considered kind of a lighter adventure game. Uh, their lengths are relatively short, probably around two hours in length. But uh, I'm a fan of Doctor Who, so I thought why not do the Doctor Who video games. Dimensional modulator on the blink of now air in the pipes. Doctor! Doctor! Oh, it's you two. Whatever's the matter? Look, if they don't have crispy duck. Doctor, open the door now! All right, all right. Hold on to your wonton. Must be like an egg fried rice, is it? I think you better shut the door, Doctor. I give up. We come to the Lao Dynasty for a nice bowl of wonton and crispy duck and. Exactly how did you manage to upset the locals? Let's just say the Lao Palace turned out not to be a restaurant. Of course not. It's a palace. Which would explain the Imperial Guards hurling spears, I suppose. Maybe we should make this a takeaway. I hope you left Emperor Chanzo a good tip. Yeah, use more salt. Maybe just need some new valves. Doctor, what's happening? The panic dome panicked at the bar. Hard to scrape, really. What with? Another spaceship. Oh! That's new. Ah, here we go. So there you go. A little bright opening to the Doctor video game here. Again, this is episode 5, which is actually called the Doctor Squad. And uh, you guys should probably look up in history and find out what the gunpowder plot is. Um, let's just say that it is a, uh, a gentleman by the name of Guy Fox. Uh, his face is quite popular these days. And uh, there's a certain group of folks that like to consider themselves anonymous that are using this face. And there's some historical background as to where this uh, face comes from. He's a real dude. Ooh. It's rather pretty, don't you think? Is it real? I, I mean, is it really there? Of course it is. It's a dimensional lesion. I'll show you. You see? It's a portal. But what's it doing in the TARDIS? Caused by the impact with that alien ship, I'd say. Rory, pass me the sonic, will you? And don't throw it! Sorry. Rory. Duh. Interdimensional pressure differential. No worries. You can go and get it. Me? I can't go, obviously. I have to stay here and make sure the lesion doesn't close on you. Close on me. Hurry up! What's the doctor without his sonic screwdriver? Inscrutable. Ooh, boy. <laughs> go! Go! Need some drums. Go! Now. Or a slow clap. Alrighty then, so we are in game. Oh, and we have hints. It has been a few months, maybe, that since I played the last game. The last uh, Doctor Who game. So we'll keep those hints flying around here. Uh, we did... This is the first time I ever get to play Rory. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big Rory fan. I prefer Amy and the Doctor, but uh, that's all right. We'll see how this goes. I mean, he is the guy that threw the damn sonal equalizer to stitch particles across a lesion in space and time. Use the left mouse to con connect the particles in the order shown. Each stitch was across the central tear. Uh, 
Ah, puzzles! God, I love puzzles. But I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I'm supposed to like... Do something here? Just draw a line? I just stitched it, I guess. Works pretty well, even if I do say so myself. Doctor? What's this? It's a subtemporal distress signal from another ship. Oh, the one we, uh, bumped? Honestly, it was nothing more than a ding. Well, we'd better go and take a look. Exchange insurance details. <laughs> ah, smell that. London. Oh, it smells like something. <laughs> Well, of course, it's 1605. You don't think they got bubonic plague because everything was clean, do you? Bubonic plague? Are you worried? I'm not worried. I'm a doctor, you're a nurse. Besides, 1605 was a quiet year for the plague. Only around 400 people died from it. So we're in London, but where? Isn't it obvious? Underground! I was hoping for something more specific. You want something specific? I'll be specific. We've got a problem. Yay, I love problems. I want to solve problems. How did that get here? I'm afraid we brought it here. It's a byproduct of our scrape with that alien ship. It was scrape now, is it? I thought it was just a bump. Point is, this probably isn't the only one, and they're being generated by the proximity of the TARDIS and whatever we bumped into, which is fine. And we can't go until we've found that ship. And meanwhile, this lesion is highly unstable, and if I'm not careful, it could swallow up the whole of London. I'll get you the equaliser thing. It's going to take a bit more than that. So, you two try and find that ship while I deal with this. And remember, the Lao Dynasty was 400 years ago. That's when that ship crashed. Wherever we are, this is probably built on top of it. OK, Doctor. And Pons, be careful. Alright, so who do I get to be now? Amy! Yay for Amy! Find the other ship. Is he gonna like follow us? Talk. London in the 17th century. That must be full of pomp and colour. And we get stuck in a cellar. Tip wow, those two are getting real close there. Let's go talk to the doctor. Who is this? Uh, Jekyll Bean Life Waddled Hurl. Okay, that's kind of weird. Talk to the doctor. The one thing I do love about the entire series is the fact that they've got the actual actors from the TV show to do the voiceover for the game. I I, I think that's a nice touch. Let's see if we can use this door. Hmm, <coughs> door is locked. Alright. Uh, oh, that is classic. Look at that. That's actually pretty neat the way they've done that. Well done, game designers. Game developers. Okay, let's figure out what we have to do here. It's sort of starting to remind me of amnesia. The time is nearly upon us. Soon, the false king will be dead, and England will rejoice again in God's pleasure. A great day for all. Now, come. We have business with our brothers. Oh, we get to be stealthy. You will automatically crouch down when the enemies are near. Avoid stepping into the sight beam of an enemy. Hiding behind blocks. They sound suspicious. Let's see where they're well, headed. Do it, then. Oh, these old creaking corridors make some noises that would make the dead shiver. Do you think we can trust everyone? We were all chosen because we can be trusted. 
Do not doubt that. Alrighty then. So we're gonna still follow these guys. I trust you left your house in order? God is on our side in this endeavor, but even his work may take a heavy toll. Who is to say which of us will see the morning? I did as you asked. Good. Your family deserve the future we will bring them. Okay, now we're gonna wait. Am I supposed to follow them? Is that the idea? I don't know. Keep going this way, I guess. Ooh, there's something on the sh barrel here. Ugh! Another rat! I hate the filthy things. This town is infested. Ease your fear, my friend. The rats were born to the sewers, but there is far worse vermin in the halls of the monarch. But soon we will destroy them and the king rat on which they all depend. Then, pray to God they take these unholy brethren with them. They seem to be playing games with rats with them. There must be some way to find out what these dodgy characters are up to. Fact. Veiled Lantern. Guy Fox. So that was the gentleman I mentioned earlier. And uh, he was responsible for the gunpowder plot in 1605. And that's what this uh, game episode's all about. Guy Fox is said to have been carrying a lantern on his arrest in the cellars of the House of Parliament when the gunpowder plot was discovered. The lantern was made of a sheet iron and a holder for a candle inside and a hinged door. The door had a window made of a horn in it through which the light would glow. Cool. Are they gone now? Oh, let's check stuff out and see what we can see here. Hmm, that door we can use it. Uh, That's not gonna work, Amy. Come on now. Uh, let's try this door over here. This door locked from the other side. I can't remember the noises, but not clearly enough to understand what they're saying. Okay, so that's a room over there. There is something about you that those rats <laughs> find irresistible. Get lost! Hi, Piper, maybe? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, examine. Flickering torch. Huh. That's strange. That torch, it's flickering like air is rushing past. Okay, so the air is flickering past the torch. So, what's this over here? Strange wall. There appears to be a door here, but I can't find a handle. There is a tiny hole set in the stone. Inventory. Da -da 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 -da. I don't think I have any inventory. Oh, what's this? Chopsticks? Seriously, I'm gonna use chopsticks on here? <laughs> yes, indeed. How exciting. Whoa. Can we see any windows here? Examine the vent. Lady Winters, your beauty illuminates even these dank surroundings. Enough of your flattery, Catesby. Is all set? I'm a lady. It is. Tomorrow the Protestant king will come to open his parliament above us and will be welcomed by 41 kegs of gunpowder. Oh my god. We're under the Houses of Parliament. It's 1605 and this is the gunpowder plot. It will be my honor to light the fuse. And he must be. Guy Fawkes. You and your men have done well, Catesby. It is God's work to remove this imposter king. Our plans were in motion before you joined us, my lady. But your presence has brightened our toils. Who the hell is that cheesy creep? Um, Sir Robert Catesby, I think. He was the brains. The thing I want to know is who's she? 
Lady Winters. There wasn't any Lady Winters. The plotters were all men. We have all been Ooh. given a paper detailing the group's the final meeting tonight. We shall rendezvous as planned. We've got to find out what's really going on here. We need that bit of paper. Look at her creepy green eyes. You create a distraction. I'll grab the paper. Um, okay. So yes, Guy Fox, if you hadn't uh, noticed, his face looks... We like need to get our hands on that document. From Vendetta or V. And he has been his image has been co-opted by the anonymous uh, folks. Uh, they have a big thing going on on November 5th, which is actually the anniversary of Guy Fox's uh, I'll wait Empire by that door. If you can create a distraction to bring them out of the other one, I can try and get that. Anyways, paper. that's just more of a history lesson. I'm not a subscriber to any of that kind of Politics. Ooh, Princess Elizabeth. The plotters plan to make Princess Elizabeth the new head of the state to replace King James the first. Women wore frames under their dresses, which gave them a unique shape. Hmm. Uh, distract them? Seriously, I gotta go through that door. Ooh, what was this? Fork and spoon. People didn't begin to eat with forks until the early 17th century. There were there was a lot of resistance to the fork. It was considered a newfangled invention. Most people ate with their fingers and they carried around their own knife. That is actually pretty cool. I didn't. I guess when you think about it, like, how long has a fork been really around? Um, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Crap. Maybe I do have to go this way. Alright, let's go in. Uh, create a distraction then. So we're missing something, clearly. Okay, what can we do here to create a distraction? Rats, maybe? There. Maybe we have to go down all the way back to the doctor. Let's do that. Let's see what we have down here. Ooh, it's up here. I don't think I've been up here. I need to follow those suspicious characters and find out what they're up to. So I'm not supposed to go that way. Ah, see, that's the game has a nice little uh, game mechanic there to prevent you from getting too far off the track. I mean, let's get realistic. This is an open world <laughs> game by any stretch of the imagination. That doesn't mean it's not fun. Barrel! A gunpowder barrel. In 1605, 13 men decided to blow up King James I and his government in the House of Parliament. The plan was to do it on November 5th, as it was the state opening of Parliament. The gang rented a cellar underneath the House of Parliament. Guy Fox hid 36 barrels of gunpowder in the cellar. The barrels held about 2,500 kilograms of gunpowder, which would have completely destroyed Parliament. Alright, so there's your history lesson for today. Okay, maybe not all of the history lessons you're going to get. Uh, what do we have here? may be getting off track completely, but uh, maybe the doctor has an idea for a distraction. Door's locked. Let's go talk to the doctor and see what he thinks we should do. Okay, talk to the doctor. Whoa, there we go. I still think there's gotta be something to do with the rats. So back this way. There's more barrels. Okay, cool, that way it's all blocked off. So 
What do you guys think? What should my destruction be? Any guesses? Please let me know in the comments if you figured it out before I did. What my distraction should be. Hey. Okay, I we know need that. to get hold of that paper. You create a distraction. Okay. I'll grab right. the paper. You create a distraction. Thanks for not I'll helping. grab the paper. <laughs> Useless. Uh that's a factoid. I don't know what to do here. Create a distraction. If I can touch him, maybe? This is the plotter who is really scared of rats. Not very alert and scared of rats. Uh, how do these guys cope? Okay, so how the... Where the hell are the rats? Here, rats, 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 rats. Gotta be around here somewhere. Are the rats? Maybe they're down here. I don't know. Let's go take, take a look. Okay. We okay. need to get our hands on that document. Not helping at all, Miss Pond. You're not helping. Tell me where the rats are. pop or something. Uh, where would the rats be? I'm kind of upset that I can't see no bloody rats. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I get it. Some sort of ratty wake-up call. That's cute. But where the... Where the hell are the damn rats? See, are you way back here now? Are you actually helping at all? You are not you helping You create a distraction. I'll grab the paper. Huh. 